Hey guys, it's Kelly and welcome back to Zville. The building I'll be taking you to today is my school. It is K through 12, so it's got all grades. As you can see, it's a super huge building. First up, we have the circle drive where the buses could come around and stop and let off all the kiddos. They would go into the building through the front doors and into the entryway. On the right, we have our receptionist area where the parents and everybody else can sign in. And then just around the corner, we have the principal office. You don't want to go there. Room 100 is the gymnasium. As you can see, we have a basketball court and we also have a volleyball court. And underneath of the gym, we have the girls' locker rooms and we have the boys' locker rooms. So I'll go ahead and take you down there. Um, oh, I'm still flying. All right, so we have plenty of little changing areas and then the chests aren't actually full of anything, but that's where the kiddos could be putting their backpacks and their clothes and whatever. Got some mirrors and also three showers in the back of the room for the guys to wash off after they get all sweaty playing basketball. Ew. Underneath of this we have the swimming pool, which is actually one of my favorite parts of this whole building. As you can see, it's kind of Olympic style. It's got the black lines underneath of it. We've got bleachers for mommy and daddy to come watch the kiddos swim. Splash. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. All right, that's enough of that. And on the other side, we also have more bleachers so that grandma and grandpa could come watch you swim as well. And then on the other side, we have the diving boards. We have a little one, medium one, and then we also have a super tall one. And it's pretty fun to jump off. The pool on this side is, of course, a little bit deeper than the other pool was because the kids need more room to be diving into. So that is the swimming pool. Again, there's bleachers down here for mommy and daddy to come watch the divers. Heading back upstairs, I'll just quickly show you what the girls locker room looks like. It's the exact same thing, just a mere image. So that's what that looks like. All right, so that was the gymnasium. Heading out into the main part of the school now. The first room I'll take you to is room 101, which is the teacher's lounge. There's a huge table for all the teachers to eat lunch at, a super big refrigerator for them to keep their food in, and some copy machines. We have black and white copies and color copies, and being a teacher myself, I find it very unlikely that a school would actually give you a color copy machine, but a girl can dream, right? So, all right, first classroom, room 103, is Mrs. Siebert's kindergarten class, and that was actually my kindergarten teacher, Mrs. Siebert. She was awesome. So first thing, we have a teacher's desk, and then there are 11 student desks in each classroom and then a long table at the end of the classroom with five computers on it. I'm only going to show you one classroom, just that one, because all the classrooms are exactly the same. So room 105, first grade, is with Mrs. Funk. And yes, that was actually my first grade teacher. Alright, and now we have our library. Over here is where the librarians would sit. They would check out your books for you. They've got little storage bins for all the book returns. And then there's plenty of shelves of all kinds of books that little kids would need. History, fiction, nonfiction, research books, all of that. And then some tables to work at as well. So that is the first floor, and then we'll go up this staircase. It goes all the way up the entire building. Oh, there's also a fountain outside. I didn't really know what else to put in that little corner, so it, it became a fountain. All right, room 200A is the cafeteria, and then 200B is the actual lunch line. So take bowls and redstone torches here. You don't actually need the bowl, but I'll go ahead and take a redstone torch so that all of our dispensers will work for us. So I've got a variety of things in our dispensers. We've got golden apples and melons, cake, cookies. Let's get some cake. Yum. And maybe some cookies while we're at it. So that's the general idea. A kid would come in and he would put his redstone torch down and get whatever food that he wants. There's melons, all kinds of stuff, apples. So let me go ahead and just put this torch back, and I'll take my sword in case I need to kill something, I guess. Alright, and then we've also got our meats. We've got fish and pork chops and steak and chicken, and all of those things are actually in the ovens back behind the counter where the lunch ladies would be serving you from. They're already cooked and ready to go. And as you can see, there is no cashier. There is no little cash register for the kids to pay at because in my high school, everything is free. The kids all get to eat a free lunch. So grab your food and then head out into the actual cafeteria area, sit down with your friends and eat lunch. And then it is time to go back to class. 
On the second floor, we have more elementary school classrooms. We have Mrs. Knight's second grade class, Mrs. Randall's third grade class, Mrs. Castle's fourth grade class, and Mr. Hartley's fifth grade class. And yes, again, those were all actually my teachers back when I was in those grades. All right, heading upstairs to our third floor, you come up into a nice open waiting area, and that is for the Performing Arts Center, basically the theater. So as you can see, there's plenty of seats for everybody to come sit down at, and then the theater is darkly lit, except for the stage, just as it should be. So you can get up there and sing and dance and do whatever kids do. I wasn't in theater, so I wouldn't really know. But there's plenty of mirrors. It's like a changing area back here behind stage. And then we've got lots of storage for all the things that you might need for a performance. We've got costumes. We've got all kinds of scenery things, trees and pumpkins and stuff. Props is basically just all kinds of random stuff, anything that you might need. And then, of course, we have weapons, but they are not real weapons in a high school. They would be, you know, dull blades and everything. We can't have kids with real weapons in school. Alright, so that was the theater. It's pretty dark in here, so let's go back outside. And then down this hallway, we have more classrooms. First up, we have Mr. Johnson's 6th grade class. And then we have Mrs. Straka's 7th grade class. Mrs. Alberg's 8th grade class, and then Mrs. Slifer's special education classes. Alright, heading upstairs to the 4th level now. Our 4th floor starts out with Mrs. Manning's home economic classes, or you might also call them family and consumer science classes, whatever. We've got the blackboard, we've got some tables for the kids to work at, and then we have four workstations for cooking. We have the oven, a crafting table. These I probably should have filled up with food and stuff, but whatever. And so yeah, those are the four little areas where the kids can be working at, and then bookshelves there along the left-hand side of the classroom. Across the hall, we have Mr. Leeper's orchestra and band classes. So this is where the conductor would stand, and he would direct all the kids through their music. And I put some note blocks in the back of the class, and I let my friend listen to how I composed it, and she couldn't figure out what it was. So I'm not going to tell you what it is. You have to tell me what it is. So anyway, I don't know. Maybe we'll be able to figure it out. She had no idea, but... First person to comment in this comment section below about what that song was gets, I don't know, a gold star. Alright, uh, Mr. Deer King's math classes, he was the coolest math teacher I ever had. Mrs. Lyle's English classes. Mrs. Rush's history class, she was awesome in high school. And then Mr. Grice's science classes. Now, he wasn't actually my favorite science teacher, I never had a favorite science teacher because I hate science, but he was my easiest science teacher. science teacher. We did absolutely nothing in his class, which was kind of nice. Alright, this is our final floor. We have the counseling offices. First up we have Mr. Krauss, who is students N through Z. So let's go ahead and take a look at his office. We've got a couple chairs for the student, probably their parent to come and sit down, and then Mr. Krauss would sit there. It's got a pretty, it's nighttime right now, but it's got a pretty nice view of the river out there. And then just down the hall we have Mrs. Gilmore, who has students A through M, and her office is the same thing, just flip-flopped from the other counselor's office. And what would a school be without a nurse's office in case somebody gets sick or injures themselves? They can come in here and lay down for a while. The nurse probably gets bored, so she sits on Facebook and YouTube for most of the day. I'm going to go ahead and sleep real quick because the next room is going to look a lot better if the sun is up. So, Alright, sun is up. Let's go look at the next classroom. We have Mr. Vickery's greenhouse and agriculture classes. So coming on in here, we have lots of rows of things growing. Some kids are doing fantastic. We've got some mushrooms and little trees that are going to sprout. Some kids are failing the class. They're not doing so hot. Cactuses, oh, another failure. Flowers. And all kinds of storage and crafting tables. And as you can see, it's getting a little bit overgrown in here. I put some vines up and, you know, you know how vines are, so. Alright, so that was the greenhouse quick look over the rest of the town. And that's the parking garage that I'll be taking you to after the end of the video. I'll be taking you to... It's right 
on the back side of the movie theater. All right, we have Mrs. Laws's Spanish classes, Mr. Goforth's speech and debate, and we have Mrs. Wicker's photography classes, and then our last classroom is Mr. Schmidt's computer classes. So that is it for the school. Let's go ahead and take the fast way downstairs. Whee! I don't advise the children to actually do that. We'll probably end up with a lawsuit. All right, heading back outside. And like I said, I'm going to take you to this little parking garage. I ended up with this weird area behind... Oh, by the way, I was going to build a, a police station out here, but I figured in, relation to, in relationship to where the school is, a police station right there probably wasn't the best idea. So anyway, this parking garage got built because I had this weird area behind my movie theater that I didn't really know what else to put there. It didn't seem right to put a restaurant or something, so here's some free parking for the high school students to park at, or I guess anyone in the town could park here. So they, we've got three levels, up, keep left, exit, you would go right. So if I'm done here, I've parked for the day and now it's time for me to go home, I could come down this little ramp over here. If I'm on the second floor and I still haven't found a parking spot, then I can go up to the top floor and there's more parking up here on the rooftop. And there's another look at the school, greenhouse. And then whenever you're ready to leave, just come down these ramps and out you go. Alright guys, that was my school and my parking garage. I hope you enjoyed what you watched today. If you have any questions about what you saw, please leave that in the comment section below. If you liked this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of the same thing, please uh, subscribe to my channel to get updates of when I post new videos. The next video I will be posting is my shopping mall, which is going to be an awesome video. I'm very proud of how the shopping mall turned out, so definitely look forward to that. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. Talk to you soon.